Welcome back, everybody, to the Paku Village Podcast. My name is Ben, joined by my co-host, Joseph. And this is episode 66. Woo! I think we're finally getting uh, like a hang of our old routine, our old schedule. So it feels good. It does. Um, before we get into everything, Joseph, how was your week? Dude, it was really good, actually. It was kind of, I don't know, school's finally picking up, so I'm getting into the swing of things with that. But um, besides that, um, it's been chill, you know, just kind of working, um, doing stuff for the channel that I've been enjoying a lot. Um, also doing stuff for life, which has not been as fun, but when in Rome, right? So it's been yeah. good. <laughs> haven't been watching as much anime lately, sadly, but um, just the weekly stuff. I haven't been watching much Kuroko no Basket. Um, but yeah, I was actually talking to my friend and she was like, she thought Kuroko no Basket was dumb. She thought, she said, she, she hates sports anime, so I guess. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. that but, makes sense um, yeah no exactly oh no no that's what she told what she told me was crazy ben she said that she couldn't finish blue lock really <laughs> yeah <Oops>. Wait, you... <laughs> sorry i was pouring some water um but yeah no, no that was crazy in itself but um anyways yeah also uh yeah it's football football's back finally so if i look to the side a bit it's because the cowboys are playing right now so if you're, you're i hope your team's doing well in football anyone out there who's watching but yeah that's what i've been up to ben what about yourself um man really just i feel like i say this every week but the school and work yeah um fair it's really it's just a grind mm-hmm yeah. No. Yeah. Nothing I, really much to say there. I totally. Go to school, yeah. work, come it's back. Okay. But um, yeah, that's just how it's been. But then I was scrolling through the internet the other days. Uh oh. <laughs> I just made a little short about it, um, today. But then there's a new rom com coming out, and I'm very excited for it. The animation actually looks so good. I'll show you the trailer for it after this again. Um. Mm -hmm. But it's so pretty much it's called the title was very it threw me off a bit. It's called a girl and her guard dog. That's <laughs> what it's called. And so pretty much it's about a girl who both of her parents were in the Yakuza or Yakuza, however you pronounce it. Um, mm -hmm. And they died because Yakuza stuff. And pretty much she goes to live with her grandpa and then she starts high school life's normal but when she ever she gets into high school she finds this one dude who's a member of the yakuza and actually um i guess looked up to her parents or something and now he vows to protect her for the rest of her life um and she doesn't want him to protect her ben she, mm -hmm. um but anyways that's kind of the plot and then as you can guess they slowly fall in love i thought it was kind of a little odd calling him a guard dog but that's how it is, man. And yeah, when I you was... say guard dog, I thought you meant like an actual dog. Yeah, it's no, like... no, it's, it's a deceiving title. It's not that anime. You know what I'm talking about? The <laughs> one where he gets turned into a dog. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, oh wow, it's like snowing. I think raining. Anyways. Um, snowing. <clears throat> yeah, New York. It's raining. Um, uh, anyways, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, it seems like a cool show comes out september 28th not on crunchyroll sadly so we'll have to use like nine anime if we want to watch it but i definitely will be watching it um and ben if you want to join me for the ride you're yeah, welcome we'll to because i mean we're gonna be dropping a rom-com soon so um that's for later though but yeah i mean that's what i've been up to uh it's it looks interesting dude the animation looks good and um i also saw that he has like a gun he pulls out a gun oh. in the trailer and he shoots it and i was like oh my god because <laughs> you know obviously japan's very strict with their gun laws ben um yeah. i actually heard i forgot don't ask how the subject came up but i was talking to my buddy from japan and i mean this isn't this isn't to get to political or anything at all but um uh -oh. no no it's, it's really not but um it's just so interesting how different i guess the culture around guns is there um like he was telling me in Japan, every bullet that you fire, Ben, you're responsible to return the casing shell. Oh, what? Yeah, he said. He said if you do end up buying a gun, every time you shoot a bullet, you have to. You tell them how many rounds you've purchased, and then you have to give them the exact amount of rounds back that you fired. Which but I was like, you have to give them the casing. The casing, back? yeah, the casing. And I was like. That, it's just crazy because obviously i've been hunting and i'm sure you have as well but it's just like mm -hmm. i mean i'm not saying like i pop it like popcorn but it's just like 
I mean, that's just, it's ridiculous, dude. Like, yeah. I don't know. But I was like, wow, it's very interesting, the culture there with guns and stuff. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Um, cool little thing to bring up. But um, yeah, I mean, that's just what I've been up to, Ben. I also had a, a silly little question to ask you. I was watching a podcast um, and it also, it, it brought up a good question. <laughs> this is a silly question, Ben. Um, it was like one of those things where, you know how there's a scale from like, do you agree and disagree? And you kind of like, um, you know, meet your, yeah. where you stand on it. It was, do you think anime makes you smarter? <laughs> oh, um, and I, I was wondering what, how you mm. would answer this question and your reasoning. Smart, like, <sighs> smarter in what sense? Like, I don't, that's, that's just, that was the, that was the phrasing. Hmm. Cause I think. Not, I don't think anime's made me, like, intellectually smarter. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I put it? <laughs> it's like I've learned, as, like, a subject from anime. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I have picked up on, like, Japanese phrases because of anime. Mm -hmm. And I'd argue that you know a lot more about... I mean, obviously, it's very dramatized, and it's not 100%. Like, if we're saying that that's how Japanese culture is, we'd look like complete idiots, but... I mean, you have a sense for how it works, you know? Yeah. The the somewhat a little gist of the culture, at least more than you would have if you um, at least didn't watch anime, I'd say. Um, and even, like, learning about holidays and such like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd argue that you could. But then again, I'd argue if you watch a show like like One Piece. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but just, you know, like a, a show that's just kind of, like, doesn't mean anything. But I think you could also learn good life lessons. Um such like yeah. that but i just thought that was a fun little question um that i wanted to talk about and wanted to hear what you had to say about it so yeah good i was scared it's gonna be like a really weird question no 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 no. um yeah i was actually yeah no no uh it's nothing like that although we could talk if you want about that one character from bleach um that if it's a girl or a guy because oh yeah. <laughs> well it's a guy so is that like confirmed? Yes. Like I mean, I'm not asking for proof, but like, you know, proof kind of thing. I mean, Kubo said it. Oh, he did. <laughs> okay, yeah. that, that's that's kind of solid. This I think there's solid. another there's another scene in the show that uh, mm -hmm. confirms it, but but yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, the there you go. And anyways, I guess we might as well move on to our um. One piece of news, Ben. Uh, One piece. One piece. <laughs> I've been seeing so many of those TikToks, dude. They're funny. They are pretty silly. Um, it's like a serious like TikTok, and then the actually, I, Ben, I've been I've been having, I don't know, I've been having thoughts in my head, and um, I'm not saying I want to, but it's like uh -oh. I've I've definitely in recent days have been considering more and more. The idea of what if I did watch One Piece in, um, I I don't know I don't know that's I'm just gonna leave it at that I don't know, um, I don't I hate to say that it's drawing me in because it's it's not a good show. <laughs> I mean I'm not, I mean I I'm think good. I don't think I watched the show mm -hmm. like the anime, but the live action it it definitely looks interesting. I know mm -hmm. it's the it's really the same story exactly that's what everything. I, mm -hmm. But it's just the live action does it a lot better, I think. I I think I agree with you as well. I think that for me, I after watching the first episode, I was really I was kind of like, okay, this is this is solid, and I was like, I kind of want to see where this goes. Um, and I'm and I just, I guess I just think to myself like, oh okay, and I, I like I would go and like look up the characters what they look like in the manga, and see so much about their development, and, and kind of just be like, okay, I I want to see where this goes. You know, it's just curiosity. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Ben, like they always say, curiosity killed the cat. So, um, maybe that's where I should just, you know, end it right there, you know? Put, put a little... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's it's definitely been interesting. But, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's been silly. Hmm. But, anyways, we can hop into our news because we got three shows to discuss, which are going to be a lot of fun and probably long, at least for a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, um, I guess moving into our one piece of news, there was an article that I saw on the Anime News Network, Ben, titled, mm -hmm. YouTuber Handed Suspended Sentence for Uploading Gameplay Anime Footage <laughs> on YouTube. 
So what what game was it? I'm gonna get to that. Okay. So he was. So this happened in the Sendai District Court, um, which is in Japan. He was a 53 year old YouTuber, um, and he was found guilty so, of violating the Copyright Act by uploading gameplay footage of a visual novel, as well as footage of anime, and sentenced him on Thursday, Ben, to two years in prison, suspended for five years, and a fine of one million yen, which is, which is it's only $6,700 in the US, but still, that's a lot of money, Ben. Um, yeah, yeah, so they arrested him on May 17th, Ben. It was, it was Steins Gate. <laughs> oh, Lord. Come um, on, dude. And then my darlings... The, the Steins Gate game, sorry. My darlings embrace. Um, mm. Oh, and also uploading... <laughs> watching Spy Family anime episodes with subtitles and narration. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, Ben. I know Japan is so odd with copyright. I mean, we've talked about it so many times. Um, I, I don't know about on here, but, you know, just like with their whole stuff with Nintendo um, yeah. and this whole Smash Bros scene and not even Smash Bros, but just like video games in general. And it's just it's kind of sad, Ben, how kind of behind, you know, for a country that's so technologically advanced, you'd think that they'd kind of be in the know with everything, but they're really not. Mm. So <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of interesting, and frustrating a little bit to see how they're acting and why they act a certain way especially towards this stuff, which, I mean, to be fair, uploading full anime episodes is kind of, it's not cool. But, but, um, I mean, the gameplay stuff, like, come on, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Um, I mean, I guess everybody's kind of strict with that. Mm-hmm. I know in the U.S. they are kind of strict with it, too, but it just depends on what mm-hmm. it is. Well, so, I, I remember I uploaded a short the other day, Ben. It was a Jujutsu Kaisen yeah. one. When I was looking at the new opening for this the should be incident arc and i don't it's just for some reason my the, the video got banned in russia for the song and i'm just like oh, okay <laughs> so, yeah like whenever i would make the the amvs on that mm-hmm. one screen account they'd always get copy strikes in mm-hmm. like these random countries yeah like one was for north korea i think i was like okay i don't even know how youtube there <laughs> but um yeah, I don't know. It's it's very interesting. Um, who knows um, how how it's how it works out? But mm-hmm. yeah. Um, okay, second quarter. Um, but yeah, it's it's just been it's very interesting to see why they act like that. Um, and it kind of it kind of I don't know. It, it's just like you think with how many tourists already go to Japan and how much Western culture, like how much how much Western following anime has that you think they'd be like a little more. Um, at least, like, willing to, to understand it a bit more, I guess yeah. is the right word. Um, but, yeah, who knows? Like, I mean, it gets me worried because I'm not saying that we're going to do anything illegal, but um, who knows? If we go to Japan and I don't... last thing you want is for someone to just be like, oh, da-da-da, and cause a scene. Because we have, like, a camera or something like that, and then they're just... I don't know. Yeah. Because, you know, they're very strict about their cameras too, Ben. They have to have, like, um, shutters because of... A lot of people would... um take pictures of people oh yeah like um, you have to have the sound on right mm-hmm, something like that but i was just like wow it's just yeah a whole lot of stuff going on in japan but um anyways very interesting i'm not fully um i don't know i'm not fully in the know yet so don't take anything i say too seriously but <laughs> yeah um just interesting um but while we're on the topic of japan actually ben <laughs> um what? i was i was i followed the twitter account for that uh jojo bar in japan and um they just made a whole second menu for of drinks oh, just themed after dio so it's two pages oh, of drinks. Really? yeah <laughs> so it's like a bloody it's all like bloody mary's um vodka oh my god <laughs> I, i'm so i'm so excited ben that's, that's you know be what uh what city is it in uh good question i think it's it's, it's near shibuya i think is what i heard last time I looked into it, uh, but yeah, let me see. Uh, is it gonna come up, please? Um, hang on, I don't know if I have it here saved, but yeah, it's it. It looks it looks fun. 
You can't search up your followers? That's so cringy. On what? On Twitter. I was gonna search up really? I was gonna look at my followers and search their account because I know I'm following them, but well that's lame. Yeah, anyways, uh I think it's over there by that place. If I had to guess. But um yeah. I'm very excited to try it out, Ben, eventually. Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be fun. Once we officially get the tickets and all that, I'm going to be very excited, Ben. It's just like, I assume we buy and we have to go now. No oh, yeah, no, like, it's 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 on paper that we're actually going, you know? Yeah. So, that's going to be very exciting. There's so much stuff. We, gotta, we could do a whole episode talking about stuff like that mm -hmm. sometime in the future. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to scroll as fast as I can with looking at all of this. Nice. There's so many goofy uh, accounts I'm following, dude. <laughs> I have like seven, I'm following like 700 people. I know, I just like being in the know. I don't even like, I don't use Twitter, but my like feed is really catered towards me. Mm hmm. Isn't that scary? It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's kind of kind of weird. Um at least that's my take on it. God, this is going to kill me. I don't think I can find it. <clears throat> I apologize. Um But yeah. Anywho, that's that. Uh Is it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying my best here, but yeah. Okay, Joseph. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, but we can move on to um, I guess the shows, Ben, if you're ready to. Oh yes. The shows for this week. So this has been a pretty uh interesting season. Uh, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> I found it. It's located in Tokyo, Japan. Um, uh. in one of the districts. Uh, in the Nakano City District. But yeah, anyways. I guess we should move on to our shows for this season, Ben. Um, I think a good place to start would be Random Girlfriend, personally. Yeah. Just so we could clear the air on a couple things. Um, so we could stop talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I hate this show. I hate this show so much, Ben. It's not yeah, I think we're in good. the census on that. Yeah, I think it's... um. It's there's just, there's just nothing good about it, man. Like I, I don't know why I watch it. Um, I mean, no, I'm not even no. Try, try it. you can try to defend it. Let's hear it. I don't think I can. <laughs> right, it's hard. Uh, it's just repetitive. Mm -hmm. And even then, it's just like this guy is. He's stupid, bro. But, I don't like him anymore. Right, but see, it's one of those things where. I don't really have an issue that it's repetitive because don't get me wrong. That's, that's the whole fun of, you know, I guess anime. That's why people watch rom-coms, right? Because like, Oh my God, will they, won't they? I mean, shit, Ben, I was watching Nagatoro and at season two, I almost blew my, like, I, I just almost blew my, you know, my head oh, open. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> trying to, I was trying to think of what to say. Um, I almost like, you know, I lost, I lost my socks because, um, because they hugged, they they hugged. That's that, that was the, that was the climax of season two, Ben. That they 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 hug, like that's the that's like that's big, that's huge, you know. It's like world news shit, and yeah. I think that it's, I mean, it's, like rent a girlfriend's just not even. It's not even given. Uh oh, Ben. Hello. Oh my god, Ben, your camera's glitched. I turned my camera, dude. <laughs> It's fine for me. <laughs> I'm gonna record this. Um, yeah, but it's just very. It's not even like a good repetitiveness anymore. Um, it's just stale, and it's like it's it's at the point where it's it's stalling so much. Here, I'm gonna Ben. You should restart your camera real quick. <laughs> like, what's wrong with it? Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's to the point where it's it's repetitive, but it's not. Okay, your camera's better. Um, it's it's just not like there's nothing good about the repetitiveness. It's to the point where it's defying like logic, 
in the sense of these people are just acting like idiots. Like complete and utter idiots, Ben. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean I mean like this this the whole arc that we're in right now is that they finally made their movie of Chizuru. Um which I mean I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually complete dog crap. But um Yeah, they, I mean the whole point of this is that they're making a movie to show her grandma before her grandma dies because she's in the hospital and she's going to die. Um and so what ends up happening is that Kazuya ends up, or the grandma's about to watch the movie, at, they're going to the premiere, or they're not going to the premiere, but they're looking at the theater that they're going to have the premiere at, and when yeah. they're at the theater, she ends up collapsing and is about to die. They take her to the hospital, she only, she doesn't have long to live, Kazuya is there with Chizuru, and Chizuru is there with the grandma, Chizuru comes out to the lobby to talk to Kazuya, and like, all he can think of and say is like, should we tell your grandma that we're actually not really boyfriend or girlfriend? It's like, it's like, what? You think that's what matters right now? You think that's what anyone cares about but you? And the fact is, Chizuru's like, oh my god, you're right. I don't know what we should do. It's like, are you, this is how you want to spend the last of your moments with a loved one? Debating about whether you should tell them about your fake boyfriend-girlfriend relationship that actually only affects you? It's just like... I don't know. It's stupid. And then just the way they act then <laughs> is not how humans act. And I get it's an anime, but I mean, oh my god, it's so unbelievable. It is so unbelievable. I I'm I I think that this was really the boiling point because a lot of this sh- like Kazuya is surrounded by these beautiful women. And it's just he just shouldn't. He he literally shouldn't. Oh. He he is the worst. He started this whole thing because he wanted a girlfriend because he was a loser degenerate who didn't have anything going for his life and he just wanted to get over his ex-girlfriend. He has Rukia, Aruka, oh my god. Um, he has Ruka who after we saw in a pre- this couple previous episodes is an incredible, incredible girlfriend who he's been leading on and this poor girl is going to get her heart crushed because this dude hasn't had the balls to say straight up what he really has been thinking this whole time. And instead, is gonna ruin so many relationships. It's it's, it's just, just I I wanted to backfire on him I, just like a yes, little bit. I want it too. I want him to realize. Yeah, he has Ruka. He right there. Mm-hmm. Like they're dating technically, mm-hmm. but I don't know. He's really a he's really an idiot. And it's like at this point, Ben, uh, he gave saying he wants Chizuru, but it's like. She has done nothing, nothing to show how grateful she is for anything he's done. Besides yeah. saying, oh, he matters. And the small hope that she might actually like him. It's like, mm-hmm. I don't know about you, Ben, but I, if I was dealt those cards, I've been doing all this, sh- this for this girl. I make her a movie, a movie, Ben. <laughs> and if she hasn't said I love you yet, or let's get together by the end of the movie... Bro, I'm 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 leaving ship, bro. I'm going with Ruka, who is an incredible girlfriend to him. And it's yeah. just and he has yeah. Yeah, it's just it's ridiculous, man. And that's not even mentioning the other side characters that aren't important anymore, like mommy or um Dude, whatever. Mommy needs to come back, bro. I know, she was such a good Yumi. cast factor. Yeah, Yumi, but who knows? Sumi. Sumi, yeah. And then this new anime chick who's just the worst. <laughs> but she's no, she's cool. She's cool. Um, but yeah, it's just so unbelievable and it's just gotten to the point where I'm just like, like, it's just so bad. It's so bad. It's, it's unbearable to watch. And the fact that she's really like hides all of her emotions there in the hospital and then he just leaves and he still mm-hmm. thinks to himself, God, has she really done all this? Like, if, you know, he's just like, God, I mean, I can't do anything. I'm just a neighbor. It's like, are, <laughs> it's like, what? Who thinks like that? Know. Who in their right mind, unless you're mentally ill, actually believes that what they've done means nothing? Like, even if you want to play the card, oh, she only sees me as a friend. She sees you as a friend. <laughs> that is not just a neighbor. You're not just some client anymore. I think we passed that yeah. ship a long time ago, back in season one, bro. Like, it, it's just unbelievable, like, how he thinks 
Like, oh my, I've spent so much time with this girl, but no. I'm just a, I'm just a neighbor. Like, it, oh my god, it's, it's, it's unbearable, Ben. It's, yeah, and especially that scene at the end of the, this week's episode where, like, instead of going to talk to her, he just, like, books an appointment with her. Yeah. On the Reddit Girlfriend app. Mm-hmm. That's just, like, it's bad, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, well, so... Apparently in those comments we're seeing, one of them it might have said that, that he was actually calling Sumi instead. But well, I, no, I don't, I don't. There's no way. I don't think so. I, I mean, we saw, I saw two comments saying that, but I'm just like that makes no sense, right? Like, why would he call Sumi? Yeah. Maybe be like, he, what should I tell her? She's real. Yeah, but okay. Say, let's just go over the logic that he he did end up wanting to message her. Like who? Sumi? No, no, uh, Chizuru. Oh. It's like, why the why does he use the app? Bro uses the he app. pays money. He, pays... he books an appointment. That's insane. And... I don't know. He's stupid. Uh, they both are. No, they both are. I'm 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 blaming Cheezer too. Um, yeah. No. I feel like if uh if Kazuya really put his foot down, then something would happen. Yes, he would. You're right. Just give her like an ultimatum. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I but... like you, but. But no, Ben. He has Ruka, no. and instead he's gonna ruin Ruka's life too. And whenever this trash manga ends, he's gonna end up eventually like getting. Man. He's gonna eventually get with Chizuru, and what's gonna happen to Ruka, Ben? I think this this manga is gonna outlive One Piece. Dude. <laughs> Dude. What if it's just his whole life? <laughs> he gets a real job. <laughs> he has kids. Yeah, oh my god. No he has kids with Ruka. He's like, God, no, we just, like, I still, lo- I still like cheese. <laughs> I still like cheese. <laughs> the time skip room. Oh my god, please, dude. That would actually, that would give me something. Go from time skip room. He's gonna be in college for like five years, dude. He's gonna go to grad school. They're gonna do everything, dude, to keep him there. God. god. <laughs> I don't think anyone... Yeah, man. I, I really can't defend that show anymore. It it honestly just makes me want dress up married couple, Nagataro, any of these other rom coms to come back, dude. I need mm-hmm. this the show is so but what's crazy is Ben, I'm gonna watch next week's episode. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. You see, like the reason the reason I like dress up a lot is because it showed like both sides. Mm-hmm. Like, it shows both their feelings. But I don't know, this is just like such a, I wouldn't say traditional rom-com, but it's just like no, very don't. one-sided mm-hmm. for the main character. Right? No, that's, that's a really good point. I feel like we never know what's going in Chizuru's head. I feel like maybe if it gave us some more reasoning in her head, then I could, I'd be like, okay, okay. I see how like she's kind of going through something, but she do- we don't. And I think that's what makes you right, like dress up and married couples so good. That's what makes it interesting, because you know yes. what's happening on both sides. Uh-huh. Yes. And then, like, one person doesn't do something, but then the other person wants to, yeah. Exactly. And then they both no, want... Like... Mm-hmm. But with this, it's just <laughs> seeing Kazuya being a, an idiot. An idiot, an idiot. Yeah. yeah. Censor myself, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just being an idiot. It's just like, like, really, dude? Really? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And now, like, even Sumi likes him. I mean, he could try and pursue that. Like, there's so many... Other options in Chizuru. What did he do to deserve all these women? I don't even remember what made Ruka like him so much in the first place. Honestly. Yeah, I don't either. I know she was a rental girlfriend for his friend, and then she finds out about their relationship, and then... Yeah, something like she falls in love with him. And I'm just like, dude, she is too good for him. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could just say Ruka's already won because she got the first kiss. Which is crazy. Um, Honestly, surprised this guy hasn't done anything else. Yeah, I think what's so annoying too, Ben, is that like I said, at the end Wait. of Nagatoro season two, I mean, we get a hug. Like that's that's progress. That is the slowest. It's progress. It's the slowest progress, but it's it's progress. I don't think since season one to season three we have seen their relationship like escalate at all. It's literally been a flat line, Ben. It has been a yep. flat line. I, they haven't even come close to kissing. They, it's like they don't haven't even shared. I think finally this season we've seen hints, 
that Chizuru is kind of like, I might be down, but that's it. That's, that's it. That's, that's it, crazy. We've seen hints that there's something there. You're right. But we don't know what. They don't elaborate on it. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's it's, what pisses me off. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know, man. But I don't, we don't have to talk about this anymore. That was good, though. Yeah, I think that was, so. Yeah, for real. Shit so. We'll but be no, watching next week. No, yeah, there's no real conflict. I mean, with, like you said, dress up and married couple, there, there's there's conflict, you know? It's like, okay, there's something in the way of them getting to their relationship. But in here, it's and like... And this is just like, Caesar like, doesn't want to. It's like, what, dude? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, um... Yeah. Maybe I should just start reading the mangas for these rom-coms, but I really don't want to. I'm bored. Um, because I love seeing them animated. I... I think it's not worth it to read the mangas. Right? Because I feel like unlike Jujutsu Kaisen or like Bleach or Chainsaw Man, it's like, okay, this is an action. It's like, I the art is still really good. But I mean, the art's like, I'm not going to say it's anything special for these other shows. So it's kind of like... I think it's, it's just different for action than like mm -hmm. Shonen ones because there's like hype. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with rom coms, it's just like, oh my gosh. That being said, on a date with her. That being said, I might eventually read Domestic Girlfriend to see how it ends, man. Because it's crazy, Ben. It's crazy. Don't mention that show. Don't mention that show. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, you're right. We don't talk about that show around here. Um, but yeah, I mean, we should move on from my girlfriend. Um, yeah, that took up way too much time. Honestly. It did. Um, but moving <laughs> on to um, you want to do Bleach next, Ben or JJK? Yeah. Okay, Bleach. Bleach. Um. This was a, a bit of a... Oh, no, I was going to say slower, but yeah, no. I think the first half was a little bit slower, but... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it picks up in the second half. It was called Something Zombies, right? It was Something Zombies. Marching Out the Marching Zombies. Marching Out the Zombies. Dude, these titles and the title cards are so sick, dude. Like, Bleach's production is so good. I love it so much. Um, but so pretty much the episode picks up right where it left off last time with uh, Ichigo finding Ishta along with... Uh, Yuha Bak and his other right hand blonde man uh, ascending from a beacon or ascending in a beacon to the higher spot, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. The Royal Palace. The Royal Palace. Thank you, Ben. And it's kind of funny because Ichigo is just there. <laughs> He's just <laughs> there. Imagine, didn't they say like he would have to take like 10 months or something going down those stairs? Or, like, or not 10 months, but like, like a like two weeks. Yes, <laughs> two weeks. So, oh my God, imagine if he just took the stairs, bro. He's <laughs> so pissed. You know. see them coming up, dude. <laughs> exactly. Mm. So yeah, it picks up with that. And then we see Orihime and Chad, um, the crew reunited except Ishta, um, and Orihime looking um, well rounded as always. I guess is a good way to put it. Um, One way to put it. Yeah. Um, they meet up. We get a nice little reunion of the main squad. Um, and then they talk about what happened to Ishta. And Ben, uh, I really don't know what's going on with Ishta. Like, good. I mean, right now, the viewers should, like, think. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I think that it, it definitely, it's definitely not black and white. There's no way it's just that these guys are Quincy's. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck the Soul Reapers, right? There, it can't, it literally, it, it's in. If, if yeah. Kubo did that, I think. That would be the biggest. Yeah. That'd be the biggest L, and I don't see think he would do that. So I'm very curious to see the reasoning for why Ishta is acting this way. Um, because obviously, I mean, if he was like that, we would have. I mean, there's no way he would have switched to like the Soul Reaper's side so easily when he met Ichigo, right? Because I mean, they were he was yeah. ready to kill him. Um, and then you know they became buddies, best friends. So it's interesting, and I think it brings up a good point. Of why he's doing it and can they actually get him back? Oh, I almost got a pick six. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's I'm, that's one thing that I'm very curious to learn about, and I hope when we eventually get the Ichigo Ishida fight this season, we maybe get some hints into that. I actually really hope Ishida wins in the fight. It kind of ends with maybe the core ends with Ishida kind of you know, beating Ichigo and, like, leaving him to die, like, on some Obi-Wan Anakin type, uh, <laughs> type style. Um, yeah. And then maybe this, like, Ichigo learns from this and then can, can further on and get better. Um, because you said that there's still a lot more to come after this course, so, uh, I can't imagine it's gonna end with Ichigo winning. Um, mm -hmm. 
but I hope we at least get some reasoning for why Ish is acting the way he is in that fight, um, because you know anime fights love to talk. So yeah. yeah, so hopefully we get some stuff there. But um, moving on, we get to say we get to see Kisuke again um, with Yoruichi. Oh, I missed her. Missed the queen, <laughs> or, original Bleach girl. Um, or, or, yeah. Um, so it was good seeing them too. Um, then we see that Kishke has got a plan to get Ichigo back to the Royal Palace. So that's cool, exciting, but it's a one-way trip this time. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, and then we move on to our other main part of the fight. Ben, would you like to explain it better? Because you know more of their names and just um, more about them in general. Yeah, so we cut back to the battlefield yeah. and it's Giselle, which is a zombie girl. And she took control of Bobby. The zombie what, Ben? The, the zombie girl. The zombie guy, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, just, it's a heartbreaker. I thought yeah. that was... Uh, <laughs> I had a... Just stared at my phone for a cat. Because whenever I was reading Bleach, I'd read it mm-hmm. on my phone in the cafeteria <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> so whenever I get to the scene, I was like... No, this can't be. I just kind of sat. I just put my phone down for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a, it's a bad day for me. Yeah. You know what's funny? Sorry to cut you off. My friend was telling me... <laughs> she was reading Chainsaw Man. Um, <laughs> and she got to the cake scene. She like... <laughs> <laughs> she literally put it, put it on her phone and walked away for a while. I was like, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, but yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Anyways, um, what is his name? Ikaku, and then Yumi Chika, the pretty boy. Um, they're fighting, and then Myri. I don't know if I can say his name right. He shows up, um, with his own zombies, which happen to be the Arakars from the Hueca Mundo arc. Oh, oh, I have a, I have a thing now. Um, yes. Yeah, so does this mean in the back? Does this mean? Because I didn't even think about this then. So these are Aronkar who were dead previously. Yeah. So do we think... Is this how Grimjow is coming back? Because... Cause... Well, I don't even know... I don't remember if Grimjow died. Oh, did he not? I don't know. I, I don't remember. When, when did he... When was he supposed to die? When he fought Shinji, right? Or was it no, Ichigo? Oh no, Ichigo, Ichigo fight him, right? Because he turns into that beast form. Yeah. Yes. Huh. I don't, yeah. I I don't, don't know remember. if he. I don't know if he died. I don't know. If, I don't think Ichigo would have killed him, but. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Sorry to cut you off. But that yeah. Was just some no, you're fine. Man. Um. So yeah, that happens. The Ronkars start fighting. Um. And then at the end of the episode, we see that. Giselle, she turned Toshiro into mm-hmm. a zombie. So yeah. now he's going to have to fight or Myri or someone's going to have to fight him. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun to see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I totally forgot that Toshiro even actually died, which is yeah, which was very sad. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, man. Um, uh, it was is his lieutenant dead as well? I forgot her name. No, she uh, got away, Matsumoto, right? Matsumoto. Uh, they were both like laying on the ground next to each other. Oh, so I don't know. You're right. Okay, I remember the that scene, but I didn't think they were dead. Oh, god, that sucks, yeah. man. I, I honestly like. I really can't see how the the, the Soul Reapers win this bed. It seems like they're getting just crushed, man. Well, I feel like they had a little bit of leeway so far, but... Yeah, yeah, I mean... Um, I mean, how many captains are left? We got Soifan, um, Shinji, the the new head captain. Is that white-haired dude still alive? The white-haired captain? Uh, yes. Okay. But he's he has, like, a sickness. Mm. So he doesn't do much fighting. Dang. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Kisuke's not really a captain anymore, but he's still that level. Um, Yoruichi's not... I don't know if she's as strong. Um, well, she used to be a captain. 
No, she was. Oh wow. Yeah, of the the shadow. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. The one was that's that, soy was zero? The captain of was that the zero one? Or no, is that something else? No, zero is the royal, the royal palace. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, but I remember what you're talking. Oh, you're right. That's right. That's why they fought. That's right. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, sorry. A regular bleach was such a blur for me. I speed ran that so much. hard. <laughs> um. Okay. But then, yeah, right, we get to the fight, and, yeah, it kind of ends on a little cliffhanger of who's going to win. Um, we got only, like, four or three episodes left, right, Ben, in the core, so. Yeah, but the last the last episode is for sure an hour long. I was hearing Ooh. some people saying that the last two are both hour-long episodes. That's exciting. Yeah, they still have a lot to cover, if I'm being honest, mm-hmm. or yeah. from what I remember. Mm-hmm. And the end of this core is kind of blurry, and I feel nice. So. Yeah, well, that's good. Maybe it'll be a little surprising for you then. <laughs> What's happening? But um, yeah, um, I've been enjoying it a lot, Ben. I honestly could not tell you where it's gonna go. I mean, besides obviously the big fights of Ichigo versus um, Ishta. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how it, where it goes and how it ends. Um, but for now, I'm just enjoying the ride, Ben. I still think that the best fight has so far has been the the head captain versus Yuha Bak. Um, but I think um, Kempachi versus Grammy was is up there for is a contender, and then Rukia's Bankai episode was really good. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been it's been really good so far. Um, I mean, dude, he's There's he's at least. Sorry. There's yeah, at least good. two more fights that I'm really excited for. Oh. And they're both happy. So, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully your opinion changes. I hope, well, I mean, it's not that it's a bad thing, because I'm not saying that these fights have been bad. Well, yeah, they no, haven't. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, that, that fight is going to be hard, it's hard to beat. Yeah. I think that was really insane. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's Bleach. Peach, I should say. But, yeah. Peach. Anyways, um, moving on to... Jujutsu Kaisen. This is such a good episode, Ben. It starts off a little, or not slow. We get the rest of the fight between uh, Mahito. I think that's his name, right? I think that's his name. Mahito. Right? Oh, Mahito. Yeah, that's right. That's not us. Uh, Mahito versus uh, Mikamaru, or oh my god, what's his actual name? I always forget. But uh, yeah, Mahito versus. I literally just looked this up the other day. What's his name? Mekamaru? Yeah, his actual name. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, Kokichi, right? I his name? Kokichi. I don't know. I don't know his actual name. Kokichi Muda. That's the name Muda. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to call him Mekamaru, though, because, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we see the rest of the fight between Mekamaru and Mahito, and it's unclear what happens to Mekamaru. Um, yeah. Uh, who knows, Ben? Um, we do, because we read the manga. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's left, it's left, you know, I don't know, um, but, uh, yeah, you don't really see what happens to him, although it's assumed Mahito probably ended his life, uh, yeah. Look at that Mekamaru fight. <laughs> yeah, um, and Mahito, it's, it was a good fight, um, I honestly didn't really remember the whole fight, so I'm glad I, I honestly forgot the whole Gundam part, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I remember yeah. the first fighting at the bottom of the, the basement. Um, but I forgot that he goes full, uh, full uh, Gundam. But it's still a good fight. Um, I thought it was fun. It was a good first fight in the the season. But then we get to the real meat and potatoes of the arc, uh, Halloween night in Shibuya. Um, God, would that be so fun to go on Halloween night, Ben? To Shibuya. Just Dude, that. I'm scared. I'm scared the Shibuya incident's gonna happen more there. Bro. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'd be excited for it. Dude. Just to say, uh. To see May, bro? Oh my god. But um <laughs> <laughs> But no, so yeah. We get to Halloween night in Shibuya and we see the incident begin. And it does a good job, Ben, setting up the creepy vibes, bro. Um this is a really good job. We see that the villains are beginning to attack and for some reason put a uh, a whole I forgot what they're called again. Uh, a a, a not, veil. A veil over the whole part of Shibuya. Um and sends a bunch of people um, with non-sorcerer abilities into the tunnel. Uh, or into the, the railway, railway subway station. Uh, right? And then... Yeah. 
it's pretty cool because all the people who are up there kind of know what's going on and we're looking for gojo and then we get to see all the other big players who are of the jiu-jitsu world there we see nanami fujiguro um nobara uh uh itadori all the everyone may um panda all of the squad dude everyone is here in shibuya but they're only surrounding the area and the only one going inside the veil is gojo oh my god ben i am so excited for these next couple episodes dude it's i honestly yeah, it's... forget how fast paced it is dude because like i'm already on monk like the 20th volume and like i remember each of the covers and like what happens in them and i'm like oh my yeah. god it just it goes so fast dude um i guess it's because the incident arc is so long but um yeah yeah i'm sorry to cut you off what were you gonna say no it was i was talking with uh with jared so at least the other day <laughs> sorry to name drop you like that no, but good. um he, he sent me a tiktok and it was like um gojo going to the veil mm-hmm. and then it was the the clip of interstellar <laughs> where he's like don't leave Mark. yeah or whatever <laughs> <laughs> And it was like everyone telling Gojo not to go into the veil. And mm-hmm. he's like, what does this mean? I was like, oh, you'll see in a couple episodes. Oh, he hasn't, he hasn't read it? Oh, no. no. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh, God. Well, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. I, I don't want... It's so hard to say without spoiling. Um, but it, it's good. It's good stuff. It's, it's very it's, good. It's exciting stuff that's about to happen. Um, don't leave, Mert. That's funny. Um, oh, yeah, I'm very curious to see how how they're gonna do it. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, it it just sets up the tone so well, and I think that that's what makes. Um, oh my god! I'm just... <laughs> oh my god! Um, sorry. Um, I think that's what made the whole flashback arc so good, right? I mean, because we mm. saw that Gojo is strong. He's the strongest yeah. sorcerer of all time, pretty much now. Um, or I don't know about all time, sorry, but um, at least uh, at, at least now in the modern age, he is the most OP character. He's literally invincible. So it's just very exciting how they've set him up, and we see the face of him being shocked in the intro about what's to come. And like i mean it's very hard right because when you know that you when when you have expectations of this character is literally invincible mm-hmm. what's going to happen and how can they still manage to make it exciting and yet they do um so yeah i'm very very excited to see um this next part it's so fun and i i think yeah that's what whenever we were watching the flashback the flashback arc i think that's what made it so enjoyable and made me remember like god gojo is so cool and that's what makes him so op right or or that's not what yeah. makes him so op but his ego right that is flamed and is like oh my god yeah i could beat him i'm the strongest it, it's such a like it's so awesome right because he mm-hmm. literally can back it up everything he says so oh yeah mm-hmm. like i think one of the best lines is whenever he's talking to itadori about sakuno and he's like do you think you could beat him and he's like yeah it'd be tough but I, i'd beat him i'd beat him like he's just yeah. so casually I think we don't see that in many other characters in um, anime, and I love that's what I love about Gojo. Yeah, I for sure I think he's definitely the best, um, the best character like in anime or in manga with like that mm-hmm. trope of being the strongest person. Oh yeah, for sure. Because he he literally is like there's yeah. no, can't say it too much. Yeah, but yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, it's exciting. So I think. A lot of uh, anime only fans have a lot to look forward to. Um, yeah, I think that the scene of him being shocked and uh, almost scared is very exciting because we get to finally mm-hmm. see something that maybe is able to take him on, or is something that is you know has the ability to take him on. So it's exciting, Ben. I'm excited personally. Um, and then yeah, just to see all the other characters interact, and I mean the intro does such a good job of setting the tone for the story. Of like this is real. It's this is going down. Um, everybody, everybody's here. Not just not just the higher ups. Not just you know, Tokyo and Kyoto schools. It's everybody in the jujitsu world is here for this event. So it has to be. It has to be a big deal. But yeah, 
Yeah. That's exciting. Other thing other thing about Jujutsu Kaisen that I liked that kind of they pointed out in this episode was that mm-hmm. it shows how many people have like even a little bit of cursed energy. Oh yeah. Because there's there's a mix of people in the crowd who can see the veil and they're like, look, look, what's that? And then there's another half of people who's like, mm-hmm. what? Like it's just the moon. I think that's really interesting and it kind of just shows that a lot of people have the potential to be um like sorcerers, but mm-hmm. they just don't know. Mm-hmm. And they just think, oh, this is a weird thing. Or I'm yeah. hallucinating or something. You know, know, it's kind of like that in Bleach too, <laughs> honestly. Um yeah. Yeah, those who can like see all the, the the hollows and they're just like, Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so interesting too. <laughs> I love how it's so I love shows like that, Ben, that just evolve over time. Like, I mean a good example, I guess, would be Attack on Titan for the easiest example of like, oh, this show started with us fighting Titans and now it's evolved yeah. into this whole political action uh, drama. Same with Bleach, how it started with him just fighting Hollows and, you know, the bad guy who wants to control all the Hollows in the world and now it's kind of evolved into him fighting other mystical people, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I, I like when shows do that. Um, yeah. But Jujutsu Kaisen peak and it just get, keeps getting better and better. Um, I think Shibuya is definitely one of the strongest arcs, but it still is crazy afterwards. Um, but yeah, a lot of good fights to look forward to. Very excited. Um, but yeah, that's really all I gotta say, man. Yeah, same here. Alright, well, I think, uh, I think I'm ready to wrap this up then. Go for it. Alright, well, let me, let's me let take us out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Otaku Brothers, episode 66. Um, almost to 100 30 34 episodes away um very exciting um we gotta do something special for them ben we gotta do a 10 hour episode what <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding we'll do something oh, fun. but yeah um we'll figure it out yeah. but we still got some time god 34 weeks dude that's that's a long time that's a lot. yeah so we'll see we'll see how life is but yeah anyways thank you all so much for watching this episode make sure to comment subscribe like let us know what you want to see. And uh, I've been Joseph, your co-host, along with my co-host, Ben. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Arriva Dirci. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, na, 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 na.